Hi, welcome back. Today we're looking at the Eve for HomeKit app, which is Eve's own version of the Home app, and how it kind of slightly differs from the Apple Home app. Now both are based on HomeKit, of course, and they do pretty much the same things. The only slight difference is Eve has one kind of trick up its sleeve that allows it to access a little bit more than the standard Home app, and that's what we're going to what we're going to look at today in terms of automations. So. If we look at the, this is my Eve app now that I'm running in my home, and the first three tabs basically correspond to the first three tabs you see in the Home app, Home, Rooms, and Automation, and it's exactly the same. Uh, it's really down to automation, so what I'm going to do today is create a simple automation and show you how to do that compared to how you would do it in the Home app. So the biggest difference here in terms of the Eve app is if you click on Automations, you have three kind of sub settings. So you've got scenes, timers, and rules. Now, rules is the equivalent of automations in the Home app. Other than that, there is one major difference, and it's called what you, what you might describe as conditions or conditionals. But uh, we'll get to that in a second. I'm going to add a rule or an automation now. So I click on Add Rule, and it gives you an outline at the start, which is triggers, conditions, and scenes. So it's basically saying, if something happens or some device is triggered in some way, based on a set of conditions, turn on or activate these scenes. So that's your outline there. So we click Next, and we need to choose our trigger. So I'm going to add a trigger, and I'm going to say Contact. I'm going to select the Eve Room door sensor and say Open. So that's the trigger when the Eve window contact sensor is open. Based on something else, do this. So I click Next, and then I need to add, or I don't need to if I don't want to, I can add a value condition. Now this is where the Eve app differs from the Home app. I can add certain values or conditions. So in this case, I'm going to just simply add a time condition, and I'm going to say after 9 a.m. Add, and then I'm going to add another time, add another time condition before midday. 12 p.m. Add that, and then I can add a value. Now, value can be a variety of things uh, that you don't get in the Home app. So if I say well, the temperature for the Tado AC is below 21, that's my condition. So if the window, uh, the Eve window door sensor is, uh, detects being open, and it's between 9 a.m. and 12 p.m., and the Tado AC's temperature is equal to 21, then we trigger a scene. So I click Next, and then I have to select a scene. So I'm going to say Bedroom Nightlight, for the sake of argument. Click Next, and then I name this rule. So I'll call it Test 1 for now, and then click Done. And that's my automation created. So if I click in there again, I can just see it again. So when the contact sensor is open, that's the Eve window, between 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. and the Tado AC temperature equals 21, then trigger the bedroom nightlight scene. Now, what's different with this compared to the, the home app is that although you can select times for the, for the conditions in the home app, you can't select things like temperature or humidity or a variety of other exceptional conditions. And I'll show you that now. If we just hop over to the Home app, I'm going to recreate that scene again in the Home app. So I'm going to click, click plus, and then I'm going to say a sensor detects something, Eve window opens, and then I've got an option for time again, just like before. So between 9 and 12. And then I click Next, and then I can say Bedroom Nightlight again, Next, and that's done. What you can see is that the the condition that I added in the Eve app is not available here. So that was the temperature for the Tado AC. And that's the main difference between the Eve app and the Home app. So if we go back to the Eve app, the other thing that you do notice, or you may notice, is that in the Eve app, when you get to the end of the automation, you're asked to select a scene. You can't select individual devices. You can only select scenes, which is a, 
think sort of an odd limitation. But like I said, if you go back to the home app and we um, create a scene again, I'm just going to do it once again. The sensor detects something. Eve window next opens between specific times. Next. I can now select the bedroom nightlight scene if I wish, but I don't have to. I can scroll down and I can select, if I say wanted to select the Q bulb, for instance, next. And then I can decide to turn it on or off. I can even select the brightness. These are the things that the Eve app can't do unless you set them as a scene. So that's the main difference. I'm going to cancel that for now. But that is the main difference. But the Eve app, like I said before, is actually quite straightforward. The only only limitation is that you have to uh, select a scene. And probably advisable in this case, if we go back to the Automations tab, to probably create your scene first, so that when you've come to create your rule or your automation, that scene is waiting for you. That's it for now, and I hope that's been helpful. And we'll be back again with another tutorial soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.